So let's get this done. <laughs> Okay, the first sketchbook I'm going to be showing is a Moleskine. It's like, um, I think it's like a 9 by or an 8 by 10. And um, it's going to be my ink sketchbook. And I started this way back when. I'm going to uh, show you some of the ink wells that I use. Um, I especially like the Kiritake inks. And the other day I picked up this Sumi ink. And I'll be using that in some future pieces that I'll be inking this week. And I do use a brush on occasion. Um, and I do like brushing, use, well, you know, using a brush for inking. And these are the pens. Um, these are some, uh, I got a couple of Karataki and these, of course, this Faber Castell. But um, I particularly, again, like the Kiritake. And I got about um, four of those, those Kiritake pens, and I'll be picking up more. You can never have too many ink pens. All right, so this began, I started this sketchbook back in, I think, 2017. So it's been a while, and I just take photos of and neighborhood trees and just ink them up later and practicing with a skull and this is this is Shaka from one of my favorite movies Nighthawks this is a scene from the movie another neighborhood shot that I took a photo of and inked up later and I can't this is um Oh my god, I forgot the model's name. Oh, we know Lee Van Cleef from the Spaghetti Westerns. This, I believe, is from Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And something I started, and then I just covered with um, um, this Chinese white gouache because I'm going to redo this. I'll probably make another coat. And another ink piece. Oh, of course, Roy Scheider from Sorcerer, another favorite film. If you haven't, if you've never seen Sorcerer, you should watch it now. Little head studies and um, a little study that took place when I was eating a piece of pie in Republic of Pie out here in North Hollywood. One of my favorite places to eat. Another shot that I obviously have not inked up yet um, for my neighborhood walks. And I just like sometimes just throw down some sketches, this like that and this. I gotta finish this one up. Black out some some um, the background. Another neighborhood shot. This is at a um, a school schoolyard, elementary schoolyard. Another neighborhood shot. I love drawing s shadows. Um, just practicing creating designs via gears. Um, I probably need to do more of these because this was really fun. This is Burt Reynolds. I forgot what movie this is from. Maybe Gator, I think. Something from the 70s. Oh, we know this. Adam West, Batman. I gotta finish that. And here we have Hellboy. And I need to finish this. But I sometimes I'll just pencil it and uh, tape tracing paper over it and to ink it. So I show um, both pencil and inking. Uh, Republicans. Republicans in Congress. Yes, they are poison. And now we know they are treasonous. Okay. Um, yep. Got to vote. Especially women. Women of color. Tom Petty. This was a something I drew. Um, all the... I want to say this is this is from like back in 2019. And Sting from Dune. Again, pencil. Pa uh, tape over uh, tracing paper or vellum, basically. 
and ink it. I think there's some light gouache on there too for the highlights. Um, Scrooge Reaver, it's Ellen, in, uh, it's Ripley and Alien, and this is Max Van Sadow in Conan the Barbarian, and I obviously need to finish this. Um, recently, I'm, I'm going to try to finish this whole sketchbook, so that's a runner, another runner, and then I want to do some sketches, ink sketches in the way of Frank Goodwin, and so I'm doing these early 19th century t uh, fashion I'm doing like uh, more from life and then um, highly stylized and I think I'm going to do that I do uh, a couple others like that and then we move into I think I'm going to go into I um, pre-tape recorded this sorry this is um, a little figure I have uh, this is stitch and that's gouache and so um, here's some other gouache pieces these are done on just like little uh, masonite boards and these are quick um, gouache sketches. And I love this um, watercolor paper, especially for gouache. I get the um, this one and I get the more square, like done on these. These are, um, wa those were watercolors. I love it because it, this is hot press. I also have cold press, but I love the hot press because it, it's very smooth. And this is done on the cold press course it's ramen I do love painting food you know paint what you like and if you like food paint it I mean that's that's what I say and again you know paint food I like fruit um, these are some studies that I did in gouache you know there's such a thing as, as a contemporary still life and kind of want to um, get my feet wet doing some contemporary still life paintings and I do like doing um, painting food as still lifes these were I think um, this was an actual dragon fruit I believe I think that's what that's called and I just picked them up from the grocery store and set them up and paint them here's another um, gouache study I love um, painting clouds. I'll probably be doing some in oils pretty soon. And I would love to get out and do more plain air. This is not a plain air because this is in Scotland or someplace in the UK. And um, also in gouache. Here we have um, Furiosa in gouache. And then um, a uh, a war boy <laughs> in gouache. I need to, obviously, you need to use up this whole sketchbook. But I really do dig painting in gouache. I miss it. Uh, but my love of painting in oils has overtaken me, and I just kind of want to figure, you know, uh, focus on that. But here's an another older um, gouache book, this aqua. Um, journal is fantastic to use for gouache and watercolors or casing this is um, Ziggy a little dog that I used to um, pet sit um, a, obviously a still life that I have never painted in some color studies and then we move on to gouache I love uh, throwing the gouache paint down thick um, but in layers, so, um, and when I, um, discovered that oil painting is similar, um, technique, that's when I just went, ah, I'm just going to start painting in oils, but, um, and I'm almost done with using this, this journal. I need, I have another one just like it that's blank, so I need to use it. There's a piece in this journal that I sold a couple months ago. So, and a lot of these are from photos. They're not actual still lifes, or in this case here, not I was not there in the mm. mountains painting that. That's from a photo. Um, and also not there. This is from a photo. All these are from a photo. These as well. Quick little sketches. 
little studies. Um, the studies can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. This took like a little bit over an hour, I think. This is my friend's pup, one of her dogs. This is a scene from Underwater. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. It's really good. I really love it. Another retro photo. A lot of these photos um, are in black and white, and I just added the color. The Bride of Frankenstein, also in black and white. And I just, you know, finagled the color myself. I love classic horror films. This is a, obviously Frankenstein's monster. Do I need to explain what this is from? <laughs> And some unfinished sketches. I think this is going to be a, a astronaut. And of course, these are hands. And I probably should finish these. And that's it with that. See, I'm almost done. Maybe the next time I do this video, we can do... I'll do the other one. This is a oil painting. Like on a four, either a 4x4 or 5x5 panel. It's also been varnished. Um, Ming the Merciless from Flash Gordon, 1980. That's also Max von Sydow. Um, a gouache. This is gouache. A gouache head study. I want to say this is gouache. Yeah. And um, I was in between aqua journals. So I was looking for a sketchbook I could continue my watercolor study or gouache studies and I found this at Carter Sexton and I love it. I love this sketchbook. It's so cool. The paper is great. Look at the colors. It really brings out the colors. This is a gouache base and I've completed it in with oils. So this this paper, um, of course you got I think it's best to do like a gouache base so that's what I do there that's a gouache base but um, um and then um, I use a acrylic gouache for my base actually and that's that for that yep highly recommend that journal and here's a um a cradle eight by eight cradle panel and a piece that I've been working on in oils and I'll be finishing soon because <laughs> I don't have much more time. This thing is going to be in a, in a show so I'm getting this ready for a show. This and three other 8x8 eight eight pieces. Oil paintings. Um, yep and that's it. That's all she wrote. Thanks. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure. And I'll see you again.